all right hello and welcome back to another video now today i'm going to be playing the uh, bmp1 here or i guess more as a business so i can't speak more specifically the uh, bmp1p since i have the uh, mouse guided at gems when you first research this vehicle you only get access to uh, keyboard guided ones but there's the bmp1p modification which allows you to carry the uh yeah keyboard guided uh, not keyboard mouse guided ones which uh, are significantly easier to use here on this map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cross the bridge here. Uh, sounds kind of suicidal, but I think our tank is fast enough to be able to uh, get over it before any enemies get to there. So, uh, yeah, let's just try and go there because I don't I kind of want to uh, do a bit of flanking in this tank just because I have like a really short reload on the uh, recoilless gun that this thing has. So I do want to put it to good, uh, good use. All right, well, we do see a panther all the way there, but of course we're not going to stop here because there's a tank right in front of me. Looks like that is a leopard one. We're going to quickly go to the side here. We can't really stop here because that would be uh, not very smart. I also don't have the turret drive modification research, so uh, things are a bit slow. Looks like this leopard knows exactly where I am, which uh, is a bit unfortunate. I think, uh, oh, excellent. See, scouting people is always very useful. Looks like there's an M41 all the way up there. Uh, can I shoot him? I don't know. Uh, might as well give it a try. I'm going to send an ATGM his way. Just aim for his turret. Don't need to do anything too crazy. Unfortunately, that was a really stupid decision of me because I probably should have gone for his center hole because that's where all the ammunition is. But I wasn't quite confident that I would have like not hit a rock or anything. Anyway, let's get out of here now. Hopefully we uh, aren't scouted. And let's just continue to move here. Looks like we see a Tiger 2 there. We're going to quickly scout him as well so that we'll get some uh, nice intelligence points from him if he does decide to explode. Uh, Yeah, there we go. As... Uh not promised, but yeah, as expected, we do get an assist on the M41, I think that was. And uh, yeah, let's just go try and deal with whatever heavy tanks there are right here. Looks like there's a Centurion here as well. I'm just going to sneak behind them. I don't really want to engage this guy from the front because there's a tank right behind him here. So I'm going to go after the guy, uh, yeah, the heavy tank behind first. You know, just uh, stop. And uh, uh, yeah, it's a Tiger 2105. Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, you know, we're just going to, uh, not have enough gun depression to deal with him. There we go, we're just going to get rid of his driver for now. I'm going to go for the Centurion because, uh, you know, he is dealing quite a lot of damage to our team. There we go, we got his breach. That uh, should be good enough. We're just going to shoot that guy right there. There was a martyr down there. Um, you know, maybe I can get rid of him if I do get a chance. But, uh, no, it doesn't look like I will be able to. All right, well... Let's just get rid of the Centurion here. And I guess now we can try and chase after that Martyr because there are going to be quite a few tanks coming from their spawn and, well, they know where I am. Well, we do see the guy there. And there we go. Uh, we just have to shoot him in third person there because I didn't think I uh, was able to see him in first person. But anyway, let's just try and... Uh, yeah, move out of here. Looks like our heavy tank there was also killed though, so... Maybe we do have to go investigate that, I don't know. For now, I think I'm just gonna hide behind this rock. And it looks like our uh, auto-squatted teammate here has spotted someone for me, which is really nice of him. Um, but yeah, let's just try and uh, scout that guy. Um, you know, we can always try and ATGM him. Looks like we don't have the gun depression though, so... Yeah, it's a bit of an awkward moment right here. Looks like there's another tank right there. I hear someone behind me though, so I think I'm going to uh, have to look over there. Maybe I can get a lucky shot on this guy. Oh, gunner loader. Well, it's better than nothing. Um, yeah, the tank behind me. Can't quite hear him. It sounds like a BMP. Like the German. Whoa, hello Tiger 2. Uh, yeah, let's not pick that again. Um, I think we should probably focus on whatever is behind me here. There we go, we see what's uh, making noise behind me there. It was an IKV. It might even be the Centurion that I killed earlier. But I guess he, uh, yeah, doesn't know that I'm here, maybe? We're just gonna hold W towards him. But oh, maybe we shouldn't. Uh, nah, whatever, I'll take a risk. Hello. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this game. Also, I don't know how that didn't do damage to him. But, uh, you know, whatever, we still get an intelligence uh, assist on him. And I guess now we can just go after that tiger. Let's see, is there anybody else of concern? Not really, but our team hasn't really captured the zone either. So, uh, you know, we will have to sooner or later focus on that as well. 
Oh, the plane there was uh, looking at a f enemy EBR. I can't get the gun down. So, yeah, we're going to have to uh, try and sort of come over here. I'm just going to use the ATGM here because, uh, you know, at long range, I don't like using this gun. It's a bit of uh, a bit hard to aim. But uh, yeah, there's also a heavy tank in our spawn, actually. Sadly, I can't really see him. He's around here, but uh, I can't quite see him. So we're just going to hope that our light tank of BT-7 there gets onto the A point, which he did. So that's really nice. And uh, yeah, I think we're on the track to winning the game now. There we go. There is a uh, mystery tank over there. There we go. Looks like it's an M46, maybe. Um, you know, not the biggest of threats. Heat will go right through him. But, uh, you know, of course, any gun will go right through us as well. This is actually their enemy spawn, I just noticed. Um, not sure if I should stay here, but maybe that waffle tractor. Or, or, oh, I'm terrible at this game. Okay, well, there's a JPZ and a waffle trigger over there. Let's just... Oh, I was so close to not killing him. Uh, regardless, let's just scout that guy over there. I don't know what his range is. But we're just gonna, yeah, aim at him. Unfortunately... That doesn't uh, quite do as much damage as I'd hoped it would do. And I don't really want to stay there either because he does have scouting. Oh, what? That is uh, not great. That is suboptimal. Alright, well, I guess we just hold W now. I don't know how we survived that there. But we did. Um, oh no, this is bad. How are we going to rubber? There we go, we got his cannon barrel. We're going to angle the tank here so that he can't kill us. And oh, we got strafed. Oh well. Alright, well, uh, we've kind of appeared back here. There's a tank in front of us, so we are, of course, going to scout it. I'm roughly, like, I think a 500 spawn point. Oh, no, 700 spawn points away from Rico. Alright, well, we still have quite a lot to do. Uh, let's just uh, go right here into the open and uh, engage this Pershing first. Oh, okay, that was for an enemy. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, looks like that tank there has died. This guy here hasn't. Um, but it looks like he is getting engaged, so I'll probably get an assist on him. Oh, I guess I can just look away. There we go. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody else I should be... Was that a tank right behind that? No, okay. Oh, no, it was. Uh, that's a panther. I don't think I'll be able to launch an ATGM or anything on time. We did actually hit his turret, though. Um, but yeah, sadly we didn't, uh, you know, get too much, but we did damage him. So, uh, should at least result in an assist. There we go. Quick spawn point check, 2,100, so we still have 400 spawn points to go. That is uh, quite a lot of assists or kills. Let's see, uh, no, that thing's dead. The Praga is getting annihilated, so... Yeah, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna go to exactly where I was before. Uh, but it sounds like there is a tank right here, we're just gonna scout him. He might... no, he doesn't know where we are. Well, then, let's just sit here and... Uh, all right, well, double tap. Good enough. Uh, there also is a tank right here. Let's quickly back up so that he doesn't heat affess us. Because uh, he can kind of do that. Let's, you know, scout him for my team here. But, uh, you know, sadly I can't really push that anymore. Because that thing is quite deadly. And, uh, you know, our engine's also in the front. So we can't really push him. Because then he might just be able to just set us on fire constantly. Looks like the M41 there has been eliminated. There's a tank right in front of me here. Uh, I didn't even hear him. I just saw his Capola there. And uh, it looks like that M40-something is getting uh, shot by something. So, ooh, his gunner is still very much alive, though. Okay, well, let's quickly back up here. He may not have FPE, though. I think that's why he's pushing me. Um, but, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, that does give us a kill. Let's see how many spawn points. 2,500. Goodbye. I don't think I'll make it, but you know, it's always worth a try. In the end, we got something like 10 assists, um, which, uh, you know, is quite funny. Uh, let's see. Okay, 12 assists total. Not bad. And 8 kills. We did die once, though, but hey, you know, he can't always have a perfect game. Oh no, this guy is being bastard. Thankfully, the TU-4 is uh, relatively strong. There we go. We actually get ourselves a fire extinguisher. So uh, luckily, that SM-91 doesn't ruin our day. Um, you know, we don't... I don't think I'm going to make it, though. Unless the tickets, like, stop bleeding for whatever reason. But, yeah. 
But hey, at least we survived. In, in the plane, that is. Um, yeah. Oh, why is this guy shooting me? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, he's legitimately aiming at me. I don't know why he's doing that, but... Oh, there we go. We did drop it there in the end, and uh, we got killed by a friendly for whatever reason. But, um, yeah, there we go. That was our first battle. Now, if you did just enjoy that uh, battle that I had there, uh, it would certainly make me uh, a bit happier if you would uh, subscribe to the channel, just because, um, you know, I'm still relatively small, and uh, every piece of growth counts, so if you feel generous, then, uh, yeah, please do like and subscribe. Well, here on Middle East, the first thing that I usually do is I kind of go around the sea point here to uh, try and ambush some enemies or maybe prevent them from going up on the hill there. Either is possible. Sounds like there's a tank already in front of me though, so we're just gonna have to come to a full stop here, shoot him center of mass, and uh, yeah, annihilate him before he annihilates me. Of course, their person aim there was the only reason I was able to shoot that guy. Looks like there's another tank behind him. I'm gonna quickly scout that. Ooh, that shot was not as good though. Uh, let's just try and get into cover here scout him as well i can't see anything and uh, there we go we are able to engage that guy the other leopard behind here is uh is he looking at me yes yes he is all right well okay, i'm just gonna chill here then there we go he shot my atgm launcher probably thinking that he could like explode it or something unfortunately for him he uh, didn't but now he's looking at me so that's not really a good thing either there seems to be a tank behind me so uh, I am going to go have a look at that. Um, looks like it's uh, something. We're just going to get his transmission so that he can't move anywhere. And there we go. That does uh, end up setting off his ammunition. Tank here in front of me is no longer scouted. So we're just going to quickly do that in case our team wants a quick assist. And I actually would prefer him to be killed by somebody else because I don't want to push him. Because we're kind of stuck here now. Um... Oh, he actually is getting shot though, so that's nice. Uh, let's just quickly see where he's looking. Right at me. Okay, well... Alright, well let's just set him on fire again. Um, because I don't want to deal with him. And uh, yeah, let's just wait for him to extinguish that fire. Then we can set him on fire again. And that'll be another kill. Is that a tank right there? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's gone now though. This guy isn't looking at me anymore though, so we can just quickly go here, shoot him in the side. There is a bug in front of me, so let's try and move him out of the way. Uh, and yeah, let's just go capture the point now, I guess, because there's nothing really else to do. Oh, we do see an AMX something something there. Unfortunately, my uh, yeah, ATGM is a bit too slow and here so is my reaction time. I'm just gonna pop smoke here, because you know what? I don't feel like dealing with tanks here. I have the disadvantage, you know, ATGM just slower than tank shells. And so is my uh, recoilless heat shell or heat grenade. So yeah, I think popping smoke is probably my best option here to not get killed. Uh, why is there a tank there? Um... Oh, goodbye. Alright, well, there's this guy here trying to engage me. What a wonderful game. Um, yeah, let's go try and capture the B point now. I uh, have spawned in a bag up here in case you uh, haven't figured out. There's a helicopter there. I, uh, well, there's two helicopters actually. I tried shooting an ATGM at one of them, but yeah, it didn't have enough range, so it ended up uh, exploding before it hit him. Which is a bit unfortunate. Looks like they're, well, they've deep capped the B point and they're capturing the C point now. I'm gonna go to the B point because that's probably a more safer option for me. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get ourselves a couple spawn points there. Alright, well, this helicopter here does not seem to be, uh, yeah, very maneuvering. So let's just quickly get a kill on him there. Um, I guess the other helicopter is dead, but all our allies on the C point have also died, so that's not great. Um, you know what, maybe we do try and go there, but we can't really go through the large corridors because that will probably get a shot. Although this is a really large area. Oh, hello, leopard. Uh, that's not great. Uh, okay. Oh, my gunner is dead and yeah, okay. All right.
point well usually what i do here on stalingrad is i first kind of go here in between the a and b point on uh, this side of the point just because uh then i might be able to uh, sneak up on uh, one or two tanks to try and get here here we go we already see someone there who probably doesn't see me um yeah and there we go that does give us our first strike looks like there is a tank on the point we're just gonna quickly scout him but there's also a tank right over here which kind of uh, sucked away all my attention um so yeah let's just go deal with him before he does anything too funny uh, I don't know what it is. It sounds like a tie. That is not. No, that is no tiger. That is an AMX 50. Um, admittedly, those aren't exactly uh, very easy to deal with because they have a fast reload. But um, yeah, maybe we'll be able to cheese a shell here. Oh no, we definitely can't cheese one there. Uh, what should we do here? Um, hmm. There we go. Looks like we both shot there. Admittedly, I kind of tried to bait him there, but yeah, doesn't seem like it worked. Let's just quickly get out of here. I should have just ATGM'd him there, which uh, was uh, not a very high IQ move from me, but it's fine because we're still alive. Um, you know. Now at the back of my tank is uh, just a fuel tank, so if he does shoot it, I don't think it'll do damage, but it could just like explode it, and that'll be the end of me. So, uh, yeah, 50-50. I'm gonna re-scout him here just so that our teammates can get a bonus on him if they do, uh, decide to get rid of him. But it looks like they have uh, a lot of other things to deal with, so that probably won't happen in the near future. There we go. I guess in the end there, we were able to deal with him. Uh, I guess I identified the tank wrong. It was a, uh... What do I call it? A Somwa SM. That's not how you pronounce it. I'm gonna not bother though right now because there is a bunch of other tanks here in front of me that are uh, being very mean to my team. Oh, that is such a bad shot. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, well, we can get his horizontal turret drive. That's uh, not a not a bad start. There is a tank behind me though, so I will have to point my turret here, just so that I don't get spooked. I think it's that M41 from earlier. Um, there we go, we do see some tracks or something. There we go, we're just going to scout him. But uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to be chilling here for a bit now. Which, uh, you know, isn't great. But at least he's not doing damage to our team. Alright, well that was a bit of an awkward moment there. Uh, we both couldn't, uh, you know, get our gun traverse exactly where we'd like it to be. Um, since you're in here, still doing a lot of damage to our team. So I'm gonna try and sneak up on him here. Oh my god. Okay, well, we got his gun breach, so he can't shoot anybody no more. We're just going to quickly overpressure that guy right over there. Scout this guy again. And I'm not gonna waste an ATGM on him, I'm just going to... Wait for his gunner to come back and we'll quickly get rid of him. Tank to my left here. We're going to uh, quickly scan him as well. There we go. Very helpful teammates. Uh, you know, doing excellent work. The A point is getting captured though and I just noticed that. Uh, I don't see what's on it though. Alright, well I've come to support my... Uh, oh, this is bad. I was about to say support my friendly... Uh, tanks. But, uh, yeah, no, this is bad, because... Yeah... How do I deal with this? I think for now, I'll probably just have to hold this AMX off. Um... So this T-32 doesn't die. And there we go. We actually managed to survive that encounter. I guess we can help uh, repair this guy here. Um... He did, uh, you know, take a couple shots for us there, so... That did contribute to us, uh... Yeah, winning that engagement. But anyway, let's go try and capture the A point now to, uh, you know, start to take a bleed and get ourselves a couple extra spawn points. Uh, what just shot me? Something did just shoot me. I'm not. Yeah, no, there's definitely something there. Uh, 
admittedly, I didn't quite see that. Oh, I can't get the gun down. Fuel tank. Wow. I don't know why my damage cam is in, like, reverse. Um, oh my god, I'm terrible at this game. Uh, let's just go right here. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Everything is alright. Nothing happened. Um, let's just repair our, uh, I think our engine is a bit damaged. And then we should be able to get back on the move again. Good, it sounds like our Tehran here is having some issues with a mystery tank destroyer. Which I have now scouted, but it's kind of behind, uh, oh, okay, thank god. Um, I was about to say there's a tank there, but it looks like our Tehran dealt with it. Uh, I'm gonna kind of go behind here now, so that I can get into a position where I can maybe scout a couple enemies. I won't be able to shoot them though, I think, because they uh, are behind. Looks like it's a tortoise though, so that should be relatively easy to engage if I just go around here. And uh, yeah, shoot him in the engine. Shoot an ATGM. And uh, I guess in the end we can just... Oh, I was about to say shoot him right there and finish him off, but I guess not. Maybe if I shoot like there. Nope. Maybe a bit to the left. We have to pay attention to what's happening around us here. Uh, maybe right there. There we go. Is that a tank down there? Yes. Yes, that is. Um, yeah, we have successfully scouted a tank who is uh, trying to pull a very big maneuver on our team here. Of course, I'm not going to let him do that. What I can maybe do? Uh, actually, no, maybe not. Uh, we'll see. I was about to say, like, get a position here where I can shoot him when he, like, rounds the corner here, but uh, it's going to be a bit difficult since... Uh, yeah, there's a dead body in the way here. But, you know, we'll give it a try. Oh, we do actually see him, though. Um, he's actually behind the train card there. Okay, brilliant. Our teammate got rid of him. So that does give us another intelligence award. Currently, we have uh, 2,100 spawn points and uh, 3,100 score. So, you know, only a couple more assists and we'll actually have a nuke. Which uh, is really nice, but we're all in a, on a backup already. So, you know, if we die, then we're kind of just gone. So we're going to have to be a bit careful here as to what we choose to do. Oh wait, it looks like that T-32 needs help. Uh, never mind then. I guess we can go assist. Would be cool if he'd point him on the grid zone or something. Ooh, he died. Okay. Um, that's not great. Uh, but I don't think that Rattel knows where we are. At least I hope he doesn't. I don't see him though. Which really doesn't help. Also, there's a tank to my left. Uh, and I missed the scout on him. Okay, well. Ooh... Gunner, loader, that thing has commander override. I'm dead. He's gonna shoot through the thing. Uh, yeah. No, we pop smoke and run. We pop smoke and run because we are not surviving this engagement. Um, you know, because, uh, he can shoot through the train car as well. I can't, especially if he has a PDS. There's another tank right there. Uh, my scouting isn't working. Fair enough. But this guy doesn't know he can shoot through this. Uh, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. But yeah, no. Oh, no, he knows. No, my scouting isn't working. And my engine's gone now, so... Oh, well. Goodbye, cruel world. Well, as you've uh, seen in those couple battles there, you can see the BMP, uh, you know, it's fairly strong. Uh, it does have its issues, of course. Like any other IFV or anything that really uses heat, it can't shoot through fences, it can't shoot through obstacles, and you will face uh, quite considerable difficulty uh, when, you know, you're in those situations. Other than that, this thing's actually quite fun. You know, five second reload heat with an extra crew. Um, you know, AT gems are still usable in this update. It's going to change very soon, though, because... Uh, yeah, I tested them out a bit on Dev Server a bit, but they are uh, suboptimal, to put it lightly. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.